Hey guys, it's Jamie here. Welcome to tutorial one, where I'm going to very, very quickly take you through how I chose the papers, the order I've put them in, and how I've prepared the paper and the hinges. And then we're going to go on to making the hinged journal. I've already started to prepare the papers by inking round in vintage photo all the edges of the papers. This is optional. It depends if you like that worn, slightly grungy look. Taking the vintage photo, I've just inked round every edge quite lightly. I did it slightly heavier on the hinging because I want the hinging to look like dirty denim, which you'll see in a minute. So it includes doing the spine area as well, even though we're covering it up on some pages, but not all. So it's best just to do everything and then if bits get covered up, that's fine. At least you don't have to go back in and do it again. Turn it inside out and do the other side. When it comes to the order of the pages that I've chosen to print up, I've printed them on one side, then printed a different picture or a different design on the reverse side. I've trimmed off the white borders and then I've measured them so that they will all be basically the same height and width. This is the UK A5, but you can cut your pages to any size that you want. The main thing is when we do the hinges, I've done them so they're two centimetres wide. Now, as you can see, I've quite heavily stained them and I've folded them exactly halfway. I did use the scoreboard to do that and you can also burnish them down a bit to make sure they will fold properly when you're using them. They're also going to be the same size as your papers. I'm starting the journal with a plainish page because that is going to be added to to make the front cover. You're not going to see this page. The same happens on the back page. You won't be seeing it because I'm adding more things to it to make the back cover. I'm going to very, very quickly show you the order I'm doing the pages in. You will open it up to the big picture. Then you have a writing page and a picture page, some printed pages, writing area there, printed to match that. And the advantage of hinging is that you will actually know how the pages are going to open together and how they will be seen. If you don't like any ordering at this point, you swap your papers around. When I printed them up, I didn't plan it. I just printed through some of the pictures, printed through some of the basic and then see what we've got after that. That's upside down. See the red goes into the red here. That's plain. I've got some farm implements and some plain again. Those two colours match. Hessian. The browns again. Big blue area, therefore we're going back into blue got a bit of red and we have that denim. Taking the first two pages, put them side by side, glue one hinge onto one page and I'm lining up along that spine of the paper. I'm going to push it down, I'm going to add the glue to the top exposed part. Grab my second paper and line that up. And because it's a wet glue, you have time to move things about and try to line them up as well as you can. For me, junk journal means perfect doesn't exist. What I do with all of my hinges is I open everything out, make sure it all opens easily. So there's enough gap there and push it all down and then we go on to the next hinge. The blue will show I've got the plain side out for adding glue to. I shall put my glue down one edge. I think that lines up reasonably well at the top. To put the next bit of glue down and the next page. So you can see this becomes a very quick way to put your journal pages together once the preparation's done. The preparation 
is the bit that takes the time, all that cutting and inking. Now we're on to our next hinge. And so you just keep going until you've got through all your papers. That's all the pages hinged together and ready to decorate. In the next video, away from this, we will be making two different styles of tags that do not come with the kit, as well as putting together the kit tags. I will see you next time.